I'm here at Baltimore City Hall, just a stone's throw away from the real news studio. There's a protest underway behind me against the proposed natural gas processing facility in Cove Point, Maryland. There's a fracking boom happening across the United States, and the U.S. is now one of the leading producers of natural gas in the entire world. We reached out to the company behind the plan, Dominion Resources. They say the plan will be safe, bring badly needed money and jobs into the community, and is the cleanest way to extract natural gas from the environment. There's really been an extensive amount of work to ensure that this facility will be protective of the environment after it's built. The facility itself is designed to minimize the emissions and the environmental impact. In addition, we'll be using process gas. Process gas is gas that's left over from the process of liquefying the natural gas. And what we will do is utilize this gas in lieu of natural gas as a fuel when we can to minimize having to use new natural gas. And that reduces the emissions at our facility compared to those emissions at other LNG terminals. We're here to talk to the protesters and get their response to what Dominion Resources said about this facility. So, Olamaya Kodakale, I'm currently a civil engineering student at Morgan State University. Well, it's important for me to be here is though, as, um, as an environmental engineer, one of the things we have to understand is that the actions that we take have effects on the environment, and the effects on the environment also affect us as human beings as well. So we have to understand the effect of every single action that we're taking, especially in regards to the environment. So such things like um, fracking, for example, though, while it's economical and then there's benefits to it, though at the same time it's polluting our waters, it's polluting our air, that's definitely something that we have to take the cost into consideration. Uh, Mike Tidwell, Executive Director, Chesapeake Climate Action Network. Uh, it's dirty energy. If you factor in all the piping, the fracking, the putting it on tankers to Asia, the liquefaction, liquefying it, if you take all that energy intensity together and calculate it, it's worse than coal in terms of impacts on climate change. My name is Delegate Heather Mazier. I'm a member of the Maryland General Assembly from Montgomery County, and I'm a candidate, Democratic candidate for Governor of Maryland. There is no way that we start uh, moving forward on this and not ratchet up the pressure to do fracking in Maryland. And even if we were to say no in Maryland, we would become an international sacrifice zone for having all of the infrastructure necessary to, to travel that gas from where it is being fracked to the extraction facility. This is a bad deal for Maryland. And so, you know, supporters also point to the fact this is going to bring in tens of millions of dollars of revenue for Calvert County every year, and it's going to bring good paying union local union jobs to the which is needed all across Maryland, all across the country. Of course it is. I, my father was a United Auto Worker for 32 years. I have a very strong connection to the labor movement. I believe in project labor agreements and putting people to work, rebuilding our schools and working on a range of projects, building our infrastructure related to uh, offshore natural, uh, offshore wind. If Dominion were to invest the same $3.8 billion in our offshore wind projects, we would create as many or more jobs than what is being proposed. Where does the political fight stand right now and what are the what are the chances that this will be stopped well uh, no one thought the tar sands pipeline would be stopped much less delayed by three years uh, it seemed to be a done deal the White House was behind it and it's been delayed and may never be built we think the same is going to happen with Cove Point uh, we're moving the dial the public's responding uh, getting involved uh, people get this issue and they're mobilizing and I think the politicians are going to follow the debate in Maryland continues to rage whether to build this natural gas processing and shipping facility in Cove Point, Maryland. We'll continue to follow the story. Reporting from Baltimore, this is Jess O'Noor for The Real News.